Hi there guys and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech. As usual, my name is Amata. Today is the 11th of April and I have some news concerning Microsoft and the much besieged Adam Orth. As most of you probably know by now, he made some rather stupid comments via Twitter defending Always Online. Now the defense of Always Online in itself could not be called stupid. It was, of course, the way he worded it. We have we have already done a video on the comments that he made, and I'm sure most of you know them by now. They pretty much boil down to always online slash deal with it. And unsurprisingly, there has been some news via Game Informer who were tipped by an unnamed source that Orth has left the company. And they later confirmed that Microsoft Headquarters Switchboard did confirm that he has left. Although it's not yet clear whether he was dismissed or if he voluntarily resigned. And to be honest, I don't think it takes a genius to figure out that Microsoft probably let him go. And probably not with honours. Because he made some very silly comments and basically sparked outrage all across the internet when he defended Always Online with some rather silly comments basically boiling down to everything is always on these days you need electricity doesn't mean i'm not going to buy a vacuum cleaner and then obviously microsoft later issued an apology saying this person is not a spokesperson blah 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 blah. so it's not exactly surprising that he has now without a job and i'm kind of glad that he is in a way not that i'd wish ill on anyone especially when it comes to their job but he definitely had it coming i mean the amount of damage he did to Microsoft's name and of course the name of the Xbox 720 is probably quite a lot. I mean a lot of people were already getting pretty pissed about this always online rumours. Obviously they haven't been confirmed or denied by Microsoft at this stage and a lot of people were speaking negatively of these always online DRM for the next generation Xbox and then obviously Adam Orth comes along and basically sets fire to the ordinary already smouldering pile of leaves that was that particular topic so yes I'm not exactly surprised that this has happened and while I do feel a little bit sorry for him that he is now out of work it's pretty much what he deserved to be honest with you I don't blame Microsoft one little bit who would keep him on after the damage that he's done he probably didn't voluntarily leave I don't see why he would do that it just seems a bit too well timed this has come literally a few days after he made those rather silly comments via Twitter and only a few days after Microsoft publicly apologised for his comments saying that his views are not reflective of those of the company. So yeah, I'm sure none of us are going to shed a tear for Adam Orth. Hopefully he won't say such silly things in the future. To be honest, I don't understand what was going through his mind at the time. If he wanted to defend Always Online, fair enough, he does work for the company, but there would have been better ways to do it than the, what he chose to do, making comments and using the hashtag deal with it was probably not the most constructive way to get the message across to gamers that Always Online is a fact of life. So yeah, hopefully he's learned his lesson from that. It's a shame that he's had to lose his job, but I don't think any of us are particularly surprised by this move, and I'm sure no one is really going to care either. Anyway, that's me done for this fairly short video. I hope you found it helpful and somewhat enjoyable. Please do check out our channel for more gaming goodness, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.